We welcome you back, season number, what is this, three for three. Woods Wrestling Roundup. Jim Whitcamp, Andy Lynch, and Paul Basinger. We're not doing a referees segment right now. We're doing an LCC wrestling segment, the new coach of the Thunderbirds. Uh, for this year, we've got lots to talk about with Coach Basinger and the T-Birds. But first, let's get to our Wrestler of the Week, brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings. Who do you have, Jim? Well, we're actually going to go a different route to start off the year. We're actually okay. going to go with team. We're going to go with St. John's as they walked out to Lincoln View. And you had, they, they took 15 kids, because out there you can actually put additional kids in different, in same weights, things of that nature. They walked out there and put 15 kids out there. They ended up winning. And they ended up taking with four, uh, you had Lucius, Seifker, Martin, and Bittner all won it. Wow. And then they had six, seven, they had multiple, put, multiple individuals that ended up placing out there. So it was a great team effort to start the year for them. Blue Jays continue to yes. roll. Another good season for them. I'm sure we'll visit with them at some point. Most likely. Down the road. Paul Basinger, how are things as the head coach of LCC this uh, year? I'm excited. I, I'm enjoying it. Uh, it's the other side of the fence, I guess, <laughs> so to speak. But uh, it's different. It, uh, I'm enjoying it. I really am. We just had a wrestle off, and you were in your element. You were wandering around the circle, and you were telling them, stop stalling. How, how is it coaching? What, what big differences do you see? I guess the big difference is uh, getting to know the personalities of the kids and uh, in this team, uh, I've got a young team. Uh, I've got uh, a couple experienced kids. We've got one senior, two juniors, and the rest are underclassmen wow. okay. this year. But uh, we're excited about it. Uh, I suppose the uh, most exciting thing for me is the young assistant coaches that are in this room. Uh, as you look behind you and around you, uh, we've got four kids in here, and I'll name them. Uh, Andrew Lees, who is a wrestler from uh, Elida High School in uh, Heidelberg, successful wrestler over there. And then we have Matt Hefner, uh, state qualifier and placer. We've got uh, Who's Tyler Shore. <laughs> well, so you, yeah, took, Tyler, you took one Tyler, of my Tyler questions Shore's away from in. me. Tyler Shore's in here. Yes. He's back here wrestling with us. He's not one of our coaches. No. Nope. But uh, we get a room full of alumni. I mean, McCormick's coming back. Sunderhouse comes back. Huh. I mean, names from LCC that just uh, just keep coming. Um, and uh, Cody Hahn, who is an good. alumni yeah. uh, here and has coached here a couple years already, uh, is uh, just an incredible, incredible coach out here. And all the way from Columbus Grove, we have Gavin Windau, <laughs> wow. who's a 195-pounder. Yep. And ironically, he wrestled my 195-pounder as a, a freshman. Right. Uh, so, yeah. Well, how, did you, how did you get Gavin? Kind of explain how you, because you actually got a nice little various group here. You got your alumni helping out in here. You got an Elida kid in here, Columbus Grove kid in here. How did you get all these guys you know, in just because they all know who you are and they like your bald well, head or what? Well, no, no, it's, it's, <laughs> no, it's, it's not me. I mean, the kids do know me and I've uh, been right. fortunate enough to officiate all of these kids mm -hmm. that are in this room now coaching since they were four and five years old. Wow. Uh, but remember, Nick Sanchez is coming here next year. That's correct. Uh, to coach this team. I'm uh, the interim head coach and uh, we'll see as time goes on if I stay on here or Put the whistle back in my mouth. We'll, we'll just see, but uh, I, I think maybe I've, I've found something else to do in that situation. Right. Well, and it kind of makes sense. I mean, if you're looking at, you know, with anybody that knows Nick knows the Heidelberg tradition with him. So, I mean, if you're looking in here, you got Matt with their relationship, of course, with Andrew. So it kind of makes sense if he is going to take over. He's kind of already building a nice, between you guys, you're building a nice little group to help coach. That's absolutely right. Uh, and again, I mean, these are coaches that can get on the mat and go live right. with these kids. Uh, we've thrown so many techniques at them, uh, new school and old sitting school? here old school. So <laughs> some of the stuff that I'm putting out there on the mat with these guys, and I've been fortunate enough to uh, referee all over the country and you know, top national tournaments right. and whatnot, and seen the best of the best. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm bringing some of those things that those kids showed me back then into this room. And uh, again, we're, uh, we're going to be back to the basics when it comes to wrestling, but uh, when in need, these kids are going to be able to pull out some techniques that uh, I think may surprise some people. Well, how, how are you able to... Okay, of course you can't referee during the regular season. That's that's you know easy. He's doing the thing. Are you, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. are you, uh, you going to try and still referee at the end of the season and get back in it? Because, you know, like some people don't know is, I mean, as he says, he goes all over the country. You know, I take Cody. We go down to Disney Duels, and out of out of nowhere we hear, we can't, we can't. We turn around, he's halfway across the right. – the, the venue and we see Paul down there so I'm still officiating on the uh, national tournament trail is what I call it I've been down to Good. Super 32 already this year and then uh, December uh, I think the 20th 21st when we're not doing anything I'm going to head down to Savannah Georgia and blow my whistle down there I'm still doing it locally I did a junior high match this weekend <laughs> and I'm going to hang out with the little kids on Sunday so it's kind of twofold I'm looking at uh, the little kids from all around and seeing who's going to end up in our room in future right. years and uh, I'm still going to have fun at it, but I'm not uh, officiating like I used to, not, okay. not at home. 
Let's talk about the Allen County Invitational. I'm a senior this year. We'll broadcast it for you on WOSM. Wick Camp will join me for that. What do you expect out of this, uh, this tournament this year? You know all the teams, not just your LCC team. I think we're going to match up pretty well. I, I think all the teams are, are pretty equal this year, and I think it's going to be a battle to the top. I really do. Uh, it will probably come down to a matter of, of numbers. Okay. So the teams like ourselves that uh, are shy a few weight classes, uh, we're not going to have a three. the first three lightweights. We won't have a 106, 113, or 120 pounder. Okay. But we fill out the rest of the lineup. So uh, we're hoping to get uh, big points early, and uh, <laughs> hopefully we'll, we'll fare towards the top. But uh, the thing is, and, and I'm promoting here, that wrestling's had such a bad name for a long time about cut weight, cut weight, cut right, weight. Right. Thank goodness that uh, nationally they brought in the weight loss program, and kids are losing weight, some kids, but they're losing it safely mm, now. Okay. But uh, we're encouraging the kids here to get bigger and get stronger. Uh, we're going to eat, we're going to be healthy, have fun, and be scholastic athletes. Uh, grades are more important than uh, what's happening in this room right now. Uh, right. We uh, have even had study sessions. I mean, uh, oh, really? our, our importance, our emphasis is on their studies. If they're good students, they're, they're going to be good athletes. Hmm. And uh, they're going to pride themselves in that, and they do already. They're, they're good kids. The athletes uh, take a hydration test right. early in the year when they pass their hydration test. Then they do a skin fold, which gives you the, the body fat. Once we have their body fat, we know how much weight reduction they can lose. And on the average, a kid can lose about two pounds per right. week. It's just about the average. Uh, some kids will do that, some will not. Uh, we don't have a lot of weight loss going on in this room. These kids are getting bigger, and uh, they're going up a weight class or two. With young guys, you want them to get stronger Absolutely. and bigger. Absolutely. Right. And uh, remember the tradition of football here. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah. you know, we want to work hand in hand with that football cro right. program and uh, get Coach Cooper some bigger kids out on that football team. <laughs> right. We've got several of his football players sure. in here. All right, we'll have more with some of those wrestlers here on Wits Wrestling Roundup, session number two from LCC on WSN. Back in the mat room at LCC, Jim Wick Camp and Jack Huffman, the junior. You're kind of the old guy in the room, aren't you? How's it feel to be out here with all that experience with some young guys? It's, it's nice, too. You know, some of these young guys are, are really getting after it, too, which is nice, you know, because sometimes the freshmen, you got to kind of push them along. Sure. But, it's, I mean, I've been impressed by them all year. They've been... You know, pretty self-motivated, and it's it's been great for the intensity of the room. And they, I mean, they've they've no doubt been put, you know pushing other people too. It's it's really nice. Well, you mean you got the season here. Most likely, you're probably staying around 195 in the off season. I know you. Did you stay working on the mat? Did you stay going out, keeping your off season regiment yeah, going? I, uh, I I did a lot of uh, freestyle work right down in uh, Southern Ohio, which really helped. And you know, did. Did my fair share of camps up at Jordan's and Burnett and a few others, uh, University of Michigan too. So I, I was, I stayed out there. I had the shoes laced up all summer. Good, so. good. What What's the difference during the summer workouts as you get into the season now? What are the main differences? Would you say even in those camps and getting some mat time? I mean, usually, you know, usually it's a little bit. The action moves a little slower because everybody's a little bit heavier, but. <laughs> <laughs> but. Not in you shape know, as much. Yeah, usually, usually, uh, you know, a lot of guys that I've been working out with and seeing, and you know, like I said, Burnett was, you know, when I was up at that camp, he was pushing everybody. I mean, some of those practices were just as just as hard and really? you know challenging, if not, um, you know, you know, more challenging than some of the stuff during season. I mean, you know, that's 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 the challenge in the summer is when it, you know it gets easy to slack is to keep pushing and you know keep it keep at it so well did you enjoy going I mean because I know Burnett and Jordan all that did you enjoy actually having the the top of the top partners and yeah. the push that they gave you the difference in between regular season and off season in that yeah. area yeah and that's that's the great part too is you know is wrestling those those state you know those real high state caliber guys right. and you know you know most of the time they're kicking you around and making you better <laughs> but you know, you know, once in every five takedowns, you get a takedown on them, and you know that's 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 a great feeling. Is taking down one of those top tier guys, and you know, even if it's only a couple times of practice, you know, it's you know that's that's what you're there for. You know, well, how, how you, your golf game, right? Yeah, yeah, one yeah. shot in the mouth. One shot, and you just hope one out of five goes pretty good. <laughs> how are you feeling for this upcoming weekend? I mean, you got your first big test of the season coming up. You finished second last year. You're kind of the the name coming in, so <laughs> how, how are you approaching that one there, Mr. Huff? I mean, I'm there's there's nothing really to do, you know. There's no reason to to overthink, you know, overthink things. I mean, mental, men, the mental side of wrestling is 
right. huge. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm just trying to, you know, stay calm and stay focused in the practice room and, you know, not get too worked up about anything. You know, it's just, it's only going to complicate things. So, I mean, you know, I haven't, I haven't really put much thought into who's going to be in Good. my weight class. I'm just trying to take care of myself. Speaking Good. of that, it's, it's a tough time of year because you're trying to figure right. out where do I go, 182, 195. What do you expect well, this weekend it, in Down County? It, there's, there's a lot going on. We'll, we'll, we'll pick on with him right now. You have a lot of kids that you don't know where they're going to go. We'll mm -hmm. pick on two off the top of my head right now. You have, you have Mr. Huffman, which we now know where he's going to be, but where's Tyler Smith going to go? Is he going to go 82? Is he going to go 95? And it's also going to depend on what, what the schools feel they can or cannot do if they're going to have a shot at winning it. Like, right. we'll pick on Elida again in, in LCC. They're, they're young. They're, they're, the wrestlers are still filling out where their weights are. Mm -hmm. But then you get St. John's that's walking in, able to fill each and every weight class, kind of got it already, you know, with what they have in, in, in front of them. They already know what kind of... Uh, wait where they're at with weights and who's going to go you know you, you you know we'll talk a little bit here you know next segment we'll talk a little bit about um i got a couple of names to throw out in certain areas for people to keep an eye on and returning the champs but you know it's like for mr huffman here he walks in depends on maybe you know tyler smith and and maybe one more or on or, or, or it's his to lose type of thing which he knows and you kind of hear it in him and his confidence, which is really good to hear from him. Yeah, we will have those finals for you. No air Sunday on WOSN. They happen Saturday at Lima Senior. When we come back, two more Thunderbirds stop by Twist Re Wits Wrestling Roundup on WOSN. Third and final round here at LCC on Wits Wrestling Roundup. Jim Wickcamp, Andy Lynch, joined by Cameron Hahn, the junior, sitting next to me, and Vinny Pignatero. Did I get it? Yep. One for one so far. We'll see how many times I can get his name right over the next four <laughs> years. He's a freshman down at the end. Cameron, let's start with you. How have things been with Coach Basinger? You know him from refereeing. How is he as a coach? Uh, he's great. I never expected him to know as much as he does about actual wrestling. And, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I thought he'd be in here, you know, refing us the whole time. But he, he's actually helped out a lot in a couple of positions I've been stuck on. And I'm looking forward to seeing how he treats us on the mat. Awesome. Hey, Vinny, how, what are you noticing the difference between uh, middle school type of wrestling and high school so far? Uh, yeah, I think it's a lot more intense. And I think that... We're doing a lot more work and learning a lot more, and it's really helping us, and it's going to help us in the long run. Benny, getting ready for Allen County, your first one as, as a high school student. Yep. What are your expectations going to that? Have you gone there before and watched? And you know a lot of the wrestlers around the area, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I know a lot around the area from you know being here a couple of years and hearing about them. I've seen them at state, and I'm expecting to see very intense wrestling. And I know there's a lot of good wrestlers in our area, so I know it'll be pretty good. It's kind of same for you. I mean, you got the Han clan continuing on here, and yeah, I'm going to tell one quick story because you used to run around this gym back when uh, we won't even go there. Um, talk a little bit about you too and your preparation coming in, and and what are you looking for with Allen County? Well, uh, Allen County is a big tournament for my family, not just Corey and Cody, but my dad tells me stories about his tournament years in Allen County. Right, huh. it's always pretty big around here, and you know. If not this year's senior year, I'm definitely looking to win one of them and definitely place these last two years. Good. Would you say that's your favorite, you know, first half of the season tournament and then maybe gearing up for the Thunderbird Invitational? What are the big ones on your map? Allen County's a fun one. We got okay. a lot of schools that we don't get to see the right. rest of the year, and it's kids from Elida and Shawnee. I like wrestling. Uh, Thunderbird, you know, being at home, it's definitely fun to have the room up there and same same with holiday those are two great ones too yeah, and they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger 18 bigger. this year for yeah. the holiday 39 teams is what i counted for the division three Correct. spectacular shawnee comes back as you know the returning champions um i think the biggest team that you're going to probably have to watch for sorry guys is probably going to be st john he's going to come after pro, pro, i know he he's will. a little whole, quicker I think. well his brother's in here too so i gotta watch out <laughs> um but st john's the only reason i'm saying watch out man really big for them is they're going to field all 14 weight classes right. and they come back and and at least four or five of those weight classes, they're coming back very, very heavy with what they have and what they can do between Austin Martin, Wes Bittner. Um, we'll just stick with those two off yeah, the bat. Uh, you know, Lucius as well. Um, some kids to kind of watch for is he was one of them that I was actually going to throw out, and it's kind of good that he's on here. Um, I was throwing his name out for people that don't know who some of these guys are, except for maybe last name. But then you got to watch out for Tanner Vermeil. That's going to probably be in his weight class. Okay. He's going to be 45. Um, that's fine. Keep it alone. So, you know, <laughs> Vermeil, you got Cameron here, Blaine Hunter from Elida. Okay. Um, you got some returning champs in Hunter Lucas, Wes Bittner, Dylan Hefner, Tyler Smith. Yep. So you got some of those guys to watch for. Justin Seifker, too. That's another name to throw into the mix with St. John's also. Um, 
that's kind of just with you when you kind of see on paper and we all know in wrestling it's not always about paper but on paper st john's coming in really really loaded but i think lcc is going to be young and people aren't going to know and they got strong with um with, with uh, some freshmen coming into here too so it's going to be i agree with what paul said it's going to be kind of what, what's going to be the deciding factor, I think, is who fills the most weight classes right. is probably what's going to decide it. We will see what happens. Well, the finals for you on the Sports Report that night. Some highlights then on WOSN, 5 o'clock on Sunday. This has been the inaugural edition of Wits Wrestling Roundup Season 3. We'll see you next week here on WOSN.